Hey guys, welcome back to the Cardsmiths. It's uh, it's been a long time again, but I'm real excited for this video today. I actually got a whole bunch of videos planned. Uh, we'll see how it all goes, but I did go to Gen Con. That was amazing. I went to a vampire event uh, over in Barcelona as well, and that was incredible. I want to talk about that and chat a little bit about what I got there, how it went, what that was like. Uh, but today is that we're going to be having a look at a new game from Leader Games, and that's Ahoy. I was fortunate enough to pick it up at Gen Con. I actually met the uh, designer of the game. He was super nice. I had a great chat with him. Um, he was able to help me get my hands on this copy here, so I'm very excited to be able to show it off to you guys. Without further ado, let's go. All right, folks, so here we have it. It's Ahoy. It's a game designed by Greg Loring Albright, developed by Nick Brockman, and of course, the ever-recognizable art of Kyle Farron. I was checking out the side of the box. It, oh, love Kyle Farron's art. Really cool to see a nautical theme here as well. They got the sharks going. Two to four players, age 14 plus, 45 to 75 minutes. That's a great duration. Maybe having a game night, you can get a couple games of Ahoy in, maybe Ahoy in something else, or if you just have a little bit less time. So it's a game of seafaring and smuggling. Got that there again. Let's check out the back. So you can play as the Bluefin Squadron, the Sharks, the Mollusk Union, or you can be a smuggler, which interestingly, I think that's actually what appeals to me the most. I think, uh, you know, maverick captains who run blockades to deliver cargo to those with the most need or coin. I could get behind that. So there we have a little demonstration of the setup there looks like they have a four-player game running let's crack this open that's what you guys are here for all right so i realized i was not orienting my phone the right way so i think the start of that video the footage is going to be a bit um it's just going to be oriented weird um it would be in portrait instead of landscape so it's not going to have the sides but that is okay. We'll roll with the punches from here. I already took the lid off because I'm holding the phone here, filming this myself, and that would be hard to do um, while holding the phone. <coughs> okay. All right. Don't mind me. Um, so there we have it. There's the rule book. Let's give a let's leaf through it a little bit. I'm actually heading over to a friend's to play tonight, so I am going to have to really get into that uh, rule book in a second. So here's a pocket guide to Ahoy. I like this a lot. They have a bunch of just a little, oh, it actually is a little guide. It's got, it's looks like four pages, including the front. Then let's see what we have here. We've got some stickers for comrade tokens. Apply to the wooden discs. Okay. I do prefer when those come printed on, but obviously that is raising the price of the game. So you know what? That is okay with me. We have um, a token sheet here. We got the sharks, the mollusks, the point trackers there. Looks great. Double-sided. Very nice. Now, actually, let's turn it this way so we get a better view of everything here. We have uh, player boards, kind of like Root. What I really love, what they did with Ahoy, is um, they, they have the indented spots to put the dice. So those dice aren't going to roll around. That's just a smart move from leader games. They know what a pain it is to have a dice fly off. You don't know where it was. You don't know what number it was on. I really love to see that. We got Mollusk Union here. We got the fourth Smuggler. There they are. And then the uh, point uh, track. We got the market here as well. So let's see what else is in here. Wow, we got a handful of dice. Very nice. Fits, gonna fit right into those slots in the board. I like those blue ones a lot. I assume, I don't know, yellows for Mollusk Union, black for the sharks. I don't know. I don't know what the blue. Oh, the blue was for the tiles. I remember seeing that. Okay, we have tokens, we have ships. Man, I'm so excited to play this. And then we have pack of cards. Ooh, the market. Okay, that's awesome. Kyle Farron, you've knocked it out of the park again, my friend. Okay, and then we have these. Are they double-sided? Let's see. Okay, so you draw from a stack, I assume. We'll figure that out. But we have a nice handful of tiles here. And... Plastic bags. I do love when they include bags. It's a nice touch. You don't have to go find your own Ziplocs. And a lot of games don't do that, actually. So, big fan of that. All right, guys. 
that's a hoy. Um, I am planning on playing tonight, so hopefully you can maybe get a little review. Well, more so a first impressions video than a review, but you know, we'll see. We'll play it by ear. We'll see what happens. Take care, guys.